Alright guys, so I've got a lot of requests asking me to show you how to change the CID for your Note 4 from Verizon to allow for an unlocked bootloader with permanent root. I'm going to let you know ahead of time that you follow these instructions at your own risks and that I'm only posting this to give you guys the walkthrough of how I did it. I have already started prep by erasing some of the things that are normally on the home screen. I am also I have also brought over root check APK, King Root APK, and the Nova Launcher ABK okay. APK, if I could talk today. Sorry I'm not feeling very well. Um so I do find that having a non-stock launcher stops with the instability that you get when you use King Root on the Note 4. Also, just to make things a little easier, I would advise that you enable development mode, set ADB, and install your custom launcher before you root because if it's unstable, you're not going to be able to get to that, and that will really hinder the process. So without further ado, let's get this going. I'm going to start off by installing my Nova Launcher. Now I actually have Nova Launcher Prime. I'm not going to put my account on here, just because I have already restarted this four times, trying to get this video done and each time something has gone on to mess up the recording but I use Nova Launcher I think it's the best one out allow decline up to you it doesn't matter we're gonna wipe this phone anyway if you follow my video that's gonna come after this for putting cyanide on 13 it's an unofficial ROM open we're gonna go home I'm gonna set to always going to place these files. I wouldn't even bother if you're going to follow my next video. I wouldn't even bother doing too much of the setup. This is only so I can do the video a little faster for you guys. <coughs> so next we're going to enable developer mode. Yes, you're going to be able to see everything about my phone because I personally don't really care. I'm not going to show you anything that shows that this isn't hacked already because if you don't believe me, great. I've done this too many times to really stress it. Alright, with this video there will be a link to all the files I use. I will also place any of the files for the Cyanogen mod after that, uh, the APKs because they're all free software, so on and so forth. Alright, now that we've got USB debugging set, next step is to install King Root. I should really change this. Doesn't matter. I will tell you that King Root may fail. You may have to do it multiple times. The first few times I did this I had to use the Windows program and that was you know iffy too. Usually if it gets to around 26 percent it's a good install it'll complete. After that it's all peaches and gravy guys. Alright so we're gonna open it up. Out. It's going to check your connection. You do have to be on the internet to do this. I don't know how much data it uses. If you want to use data, I mean, that's on you. I'll be on Wi Fi. Sorry for the dogs in the background. It's probably my family getting home. I'm going to mute this for a second. I'm not 
not going to be able to actually, guys. 24, 25, 26, 27. Hopefully this is going to go. After a while, it'll eventually zoom right off. I am using version 4.9. That tutorial I'm going to link in the description is going to say 4.85. 4.85 didn't work for me. Um, sometimes your phone will restart in the middle, sometimes it won't. Right now it's starting to zoom. Usually that means it's good. Hopefully it's going to finish. Send a text. Let her know I'm recording. There you go, 100%, read successful. Deny. I'm going to optimize because, believe it or not, the optimizing also seems to help with the stability. I don't know if that's just not something everybody does because I've heard a lot of things about the stability for this. Alright, so with that set, now we're going to move on to the computer. Once you install this, you need to right click and open file location you need to move the Samsung unlock you need to move the Samsung unlock M-2 right here that'll be good you know run this actually you're probably better off running as administrator now I'm going to tell you what each of these commands is going to do as I go as best as I know. Alright? So we're going to go ADB devices. There's my note 4. You're going to go over here. You're going to authorize. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. Okay. That command is going to tell you what you have. Now we're going to push the file to the storage. You do need to have an SD card, at least 4 gigabytes in your phone to get this going. That is a must. Must be done, must be done, must be done. This is going to tell you the folder to put in. Alright, now that the file's there, we're going to move on to shell command. I know literally nothing about ADB. These are just directly from the tutorial. I've just done it so many times that I understand that it's going on. And that refused. Oh, maybe I typed it wrong. Alright, Sue is going to get you root. After you get root, this will either grant it to me or it won't. I'm going to allow it on the phone. Now you're going to type it. Now you're going to move to the folder location of the file that you transferred. Then you're going to mod and own this file. So. Once again, let me remind you, if you mess up any of these commands or mess up anything on your phone, I'm not responsible. I don't know that it can cause a real problem because I've done this five times now and it's not giving me an issue. Alright, now we're going to execute the actual command to run the file. I said all of this will be in the tutorial I link. It is not my tutorial. I will give credit in the description for who made it. Quick credit goes out to Chris Cater for posting this tutorial. Alright, and here we go. I'm going to have to type yes. It is going to erase everything on your SD card. This is going to take a few minutes. It's going to change your CID. As you can see on my screen, 
my CID at time was blah 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 blah. It is a matching dev CID because I've already done this. What you're going to have to do is, once you run it the first time, you're going to have to reboot and run it a second time. I do not recall, if you get stuck in a boot loop, what you'll do is you will pull your SD card, pull your battery, and then run it a second time, and it'll finish it out. But this is the gist of everything you need to do. It's powering me off. Hopefully it's not bricked. We'll find out now if I gotta pull the SD. Once again, I'm sorry for the dogs barking. Here we go, booting back up. There's the reboot, so you gotta pull the cord. Pull the battery, pull the SD card. You are going to put your battery back, put your cord back, and you're going to boot into recovery, not into recovery, into download mode by holding the power, home, and volume down buttons. As you can see on my screen, it says Mode Developer. All right, now that I'm here, you'll get this after you run it the second time. So you're going to have to run it. Your phone's going to restart. You're going to pull the battery and the SD card. You're probably going to have to root again with King Root. Then you're going to have to run the last couple commands again and then you're gonna load up Odin. I run Odin as an administrator, I don't know if it helps or not. I am using 310.6. 3.9 did not work for me. A lot of people say 3.9 works, but it didn't work for me. I'm going to use the open recovery. It's gonna take a second. Maybe it won't. Didn't even need to check it this time. As you can see, it's flashing on over. We're going to actually pull the battery, put it back in, then you're going to boot to recovery. As soon as this battery goes away, they'll let me hold the button again. You're going to boot to recovery by holding the volume up, power, and home buttons. You'll see it says custom, and you see that little bit at the top, so it did trip Knox. There you go. There's the custom recovery for your Note 4. After this, you can take your SD card, which, where did I put it? You're pretty much done with your phone for the moment. Now you'll take your SD card. I'm going to show you quickly how to fix it because right now it is not useful for your phone. Okay, we're going to manage storage, disk management, as you can see I have tons up there, this is my removable disk, it says 32 gigs but really it's a 16 gigabyte, what you're going to want to do is remember what disk it is, you're going to open a command prompt, you're going to right click it, right click again, and run as administrator with elevated privileges, now you're going to type in disk part, Nope, that's one word, I'm sorry. List, disk. As you can see, disk 4, 14 gigabytes. That's what I'm going to go for. Do not wipe your hard drive, guys. Be very careful. Make sure you're wiping the right disk. Select disk 4, clean. Now, as you can see, it says unallocated. You can either format in here, or you can... Oh, not responding. Give that a minute. Nope. Close the program. Alright, 
so we're going to do this again. Right click PC, manage, close, storage, management. It's loading disks. Alright, we're going to scroll down. New simple volume. Next, next, name it whatever you want. If you don't want FAT32, don't put FAT32. In a second, I'll have my nice disk reconfigured. You're going to either need a card reader or something because it's not going to let you uh, do it without one. All right now, that's it for this video, guys. I hope this helped you. I will post, once again, a link to the tutorial and a link to the files that I used, all in a RAR file. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video and it helped you out, leave a like and a subscribe. If you have any comments, question or PM me, and have a good one.